This is take two of a Red X review of Epic Proportions of the Power Rangers Dino Charge figure art set Black Ranger and Pink Ranger. Your results will vary depending on which way you want to say it, but for me, I only know these as Power Rangers related, so that's what I'm going to stick with, okay? I understand they're Kyuger, but it's really hard for me to say Kyuger over and over again, so... I'm not going to make a fool of myself. Let's just go with what it actually is referred to as Power Rangers Dino Charge. So, Black Ranger and Pink Ranger, everyone. Well, let's start off with the package right now. I've already emptied out all the content, so we don't have to do that on camera. And I just want to go ahead and throw up a rant. Anybody noticing something here? I do believe, if I am not mistaken, I do believe that... This was what started it all. This one right here. With... Uh, you know what? I, I don't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> I do that a lot. And as a matter of fact, whenever I talk about a Bandai of Japan product, somehow I throw in Bandai of America, and then we start this rant all over again, comparing night and day. It just goes on and on and on. It's a never-ending cycle. It just goes around in a full 360, back and forth, back and forth. But that's a story for another day. And someday, I really need to make a Bandai of America rant video. Just get it all out once and for all. I love their legacy line. And hopefully, this will not turn into another Bandai of America rant. That's because this is. That's why this is take number two. Because that's what happened with the first review that I tried with this. It turned into a Bandai of America rant. And I hate it when Bandai of America gets involved with Bandai of Japan's products. It's just... Ugh. I don't know what to say. Let's just get back to this. The <laughs> with them thank goodness but you know it just it just it's just a cheap way to save a buck would it have really cost an extra penny to have a clear see-through window slapped onto this box I'm getting upset about boxes let's just uh, get back to this and finish it up as you can see, the standard SH Figure Arts thing here. And uh, the Rangers in some awkward pose, I guess. That's probably how they pose in the show. I wouldn't know. So you got your description of the Rangers in this content. You got Bandai 2014 made in China. Some Japanese text. Uh, the Bandai Collector's Shop logo stating that this was an exclusive, which I hate seeing this on every single package, just about every single package. Tamashi Nation's logo, Bandai's logo, same information here, same information here. On the back, you got some very nice artwork in the background. You got the Rangers pose once again with their weapons. And just your basic accessories over here, which I refuse to pull out, but I will just show it off anyhow real quickly. I'm going to start off with the uh, sword, if I can get my fingers in there and pull it out real quickly. As I called it in the uh, Red Rangers review, the Dino Saber. So once again, very nicely painted and nice addition to detail. Bandai of Japan spares to no expense, except for when it comes to clear see-through windows on the packagings. I am not gonna let that go, people. And then, of course, we got their armor bits right here. I'm not gonna show those off because I don't want to risk breaking the figures, but I will show you real quickly on the package, or the instructions. I got the package on my brain. Great, now this is turning into a package rant. Anyway, it's right here. What you can do, simply put, is I would get a blow dryer and I would swap them that way. Even though it doesn't say anything about it. I'm sure all this Japanese text just telling you how to pop it off very easily. Very easily. Which you can't. 
You could risk breaking your figure if you want to try, but I'm not going to do it. So that's pretty much the instructions. Hand accessories pretty much includes ball fists, hands that can hold weapons, pointing hands, posed hands, and your basic stuff for the ranger. And then there's something else I forgot to show off in the last review of the Dino Charge Red Ranger. The batteries. I am so sorry I forgot to show those off. But they are so tiny and so easy to overlook and that's what happened in the last review. So whoever got on me about that, thank you very much. Thank you. I wasn't going to make that mistake twice. And last but not least for their accessories, minus what they got in their hands, which I'll show off very shortly. Here are their signature weapons right here. We got ourselves what looks to be an axe for the Black Ranger, or maybe part of a blaster. And then here's a drill weapon for the Pink Ranger. And then we've got this right here. The first step in assembling their... Dino Saber Sword, Power Sword, I don't know what I want to call it. But uh, this is one molded piece, very nicely detailed, very nicely painted. It's for the Green Ranger and the Blue Ranger, which is kind of weird, but I guess it is what it is. And you would think that these accessories right here would actually combine, but they don't. Obviously they don't. Here's the Black Ranger. Very nicely detailed, pretty much the same basic body, minus a few things like the printed logo right here of his dinosaur, and the helmet obviously. But it's the same body as the Red Ranger, so there's really nothing new. Same accessories, Dino Saber, Dino Blaster. Very nicely painted, but you know, that's to be expected. I do like how his armor, or, you know, the ranger suit isn't all black. That's pretty cool. Some silver there. It, it works. I mean, who would have thought silver and black would be a nice combination for a ranger? That's pretty cool. The shoulder pad moves out of the way so you can get more movement out of the arms, but really can't get a full 360, at least with my figures. It just kind of gets stuck right there. It's kind of like the Ninja Storm Blue Ranger. I know somebody knows what I'm talking about because it just, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't get any more movement. I mean, sometimes I can, but that's about as far as it goes. Let's go for the articulation on the Black Ranger and pretty much the Pink Ranger because it's all one and the same. Ball jointed head, ball jointed neck, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed, well not ball jointed, but uh, double jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, ball jointed uppercut. Kind of a, yeah, it is a ball joint at the waist. Now, of course, ball jointed legs, and then they got that additional leg movement so you can get higher kicks. Then we got a swivel at the thighs, double jointed knees, ball jointed ankles, any position you want, and then the pivot to the foot. So that's the range of articulation and it's pretty dang good like all the other humanoid quality figures of the sh figure arts line here's the pink ranger real quickly i'll just set him aside here's the pink ranger real quickly she's a triceratops black ranger i have no idea the uh pink is a bit different it's not the same color I guess that's how it is in the show. As a matter of fact, I think that is how it is on the package as well. Yes, it is. So, okay. That's fine. It's very nicely scaled. Pretty cool. I like how SH Figure Arts does this. Even on the joint. You wouldn't think they would put that much attention to a joint. But they did. And for that, I thank them. Very nice. So it's the same articulation, I don't have to go through it. I will say it is nice though that her buckler doesn't move all around like all the others. That's pretty tight. I mean, it's barely moving with the tip of my thumb. That's nice. Um, a lot of people have complained about her skirt saying that it's just too big and it makes her look a little out of proportion. I, I don't know how they actually said it, but I've seen a lot of reviews of people talking about it. But I gotta say... 
I'm not seeing an issue, really. I'm not. I will say, though, it is pretty tight considering that it is one molded piece. It's not actually a separate piece. So you're not really going to get much in the terms of movement with her. So her legs are actually limited in such a way that that's about as high as they go. I, I mean, you could probably get just a little more, but that's about as far as they are going. And it's a little loose on this leg, but, you know, it's okay. I mean, it doesn't move on its own. So, all right. Um, that's really it. I mean, I've really got nothing else to say about these figure arts. They're pretty cool, but not everyone can afford them, unfortunately. So let's end this review real quickly with a quick size comparison of Orion, the Silver Ranger from Power Rangers Super Samurai. Or Super Samurai? Super... Super Mega Force with Robo Knights, the uh, Power Rangers Mega Force figure. Figure one. I've got nothing else to say. Like I said, not everyone can afford these, especially since they're not being produced anymore. Two hundred dollars for two figures of this scale. I don't know. I know a lot of people are probably going to say that they're not worth the price, but you know, you're taking a gamble one way or another. If you feel the need to buy Bandai of America's products, that's up to you. Anyway, that's it, guys. I got nothing else to say. These figures are great. If you can get them, that's good. If you can't get them, well, there's always Bandai of America's Dino Charge figures. So, questions, comments, leave them down below. You can answer them. Or, <laughs> you can answer them. I can answer them when I got time. I really need to work on my tongue twisting. So until the next Red X review of Epic Proportions, that's me, Red X, signing out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.